Oh, so what you're saying is there's zero opportunity GameStop's entire website doesn't get fried in the next, oh, I don't know, three weeks. That's going to cause a crash. That's going to cause a service outage. And that's probably going to cause the 5G in my area to stop working for like 30 days. But it does raise an interesting question. We're about a week away from celebrations. So is there any hope left? Well, today we'll hopefully try to answer that question. But first, roll that intro. <laughs> Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another video. In today's video, friends, we talk about Pokemon celebrations. We are about a week away, and as promised from this Tuesday's video, I did say that we would spend the better part of this week, unfortunately, talking about celebrations in an attempt to hopefully give you all the viewers, some much needed information, perhaps some reaffirmation and all things of the sort as it comes down to this set. So celebrations is going to be an interesting time. And the reason I say that is primarily because we know for a fact it's going to be in very, very high demand. What's funny is that we've seen several different websites go through various ways of attempting to deal with the influx of traffic that Celebrations product is having. Reasons this is. One, Pokemon is just genuinely at an all-time high in terms of modern popularity. So there's a lot of folks out there who really want to jump in on the 25th anniversary craze. The second thing is that there are a lot of scalpers who recognize that and are sore a little bit of money from about, oh, give or take this time last year when you could literally buy things and make a profit by the time you left your local target. So the truth of the matter is there's a lot of competition for a very small amount of product. And the truth of the matter is there are many reasons why it's probable that there will be some supply issues with celebrations. I genuinely don't believe that they can make enough of this stuff at launch. However, I do believe we have received very good indirect confirmation that they are actively working on printing this stuff into oblivion. And I believe that's a good thing because I think what ends up happening is you end up in a situation where although the first few weeks may be a little rough, what you'll see is that over time there will be a lot of availability of product and over time even those evil people on eBay will be forced to lower their prices just purely based on the overall market conditions which will probably force things to trend downwards. If you need any validation of this, the only thing you have to do is look at Shining Fates. Shining Fates ETBs were pre-selling for about $90, and unsurprisingly, that's about the price we're seeing for a Celebrations ETB. And then, simultaneously with that, there was a huge, huge mishap with the way that distribution happened up until recently, where now you can sincerely find a lot of Shining Fates products at or above or slightly above MSRP. In fact, just the other day, I was able to pick up two of the three pack uh, boxes, I guess you can call them, at Best Buy for MSRP. So it's not unheard of. Is it a little bit of work? Yes, but then again, what hobby isn't? And that's my point, is that there are ways forward and I have a feeling those exact same ways that apply to other sets like Shining Fates or Evolving Skies will also play a direct role in how you as a collector or hobbyist can get some celebrations cards to either open up, collect, or keep sealed. So that's my first thing. The second thing is let's take a look at some last minute options. Again, you are about more or less a few days away from the official launch. This video is going to be coming out on Thursday, September 30th, literally a week and one day later, October 8th will be the official launch of celebrations. Unless you find something in stores, which is again, very unlikely, there is a probability that you will have to wait a little bit for one of two things to happen. A lot of people have been pre-ordering stuff that will likely be shipped directly to home. However, depending on the company, they may not ship till after the release state. The other thing to bear in mind is that if you're picking up something in store, there is a likelihood that it could be delayed. Again, it's not unheard of that Pokemon doesn't have the logistical fortitude to get everything out there. And so even if you ordered, let's just hypothetically say two ETBs, 
Pokemon may only be able to get one out to you by the time all things are released. So that's the other thing to bear in mind. So a couple things that I wanted to point out. On the GameStop website right now, if you search up Pokemon Celebrations, you will find a couple different interesting things. The first is the ETB, the second are the boxes. Now these boxes are more or less uh, the ones we've seen. Bear in mind there are additional Celebrations products out there that are not described as Celebrations. So what you'll notice is that each of these says Pokemon Trading Card Game, colon, celebrations so it's interesting because not all products are described that way however what all products do have in common is not available here's the interesting thing the trading card game ultra premium collection has been something in very very high demand if no one knows about this yet you will shortly because I have the page up, as you can see it's $119, which is quite an impressive number, um, especially for a Pokemon TCG product. Here is a relatively good look at the box, you can see it's very shiny, very pretty, um, it has like different areas, so it looks very much like one of those premium ETBs, but if those were premium ETBs, this thing is like the ultra premium ETB, am I right? Anywho, uh, if we look at it, what you'll see is you get two commemorative metal cards featuring base set Pikachu and Charizard. I have a feeling those two cards alone, if you sell them on eBay, will pay for the cost of this box and everything else will be free to you. You also get a special gold version of Pikachu V, gold version of Pokeball, a stunning Charizard and Pikachu enamel pin, 17 four card celebrations booster packs. 8 additional Pokemon TCG booster packs, and by the way, we covered this in Tuesday's video where I demonstrated that um, the cost per pack on this stuff is relatively high, it's about $7.05. Uh, mind you, there are items that you can buy that get you down to about $4.50 per Celebrations pack unadjusted. Um, so this is not necessarily one of those things that you wanna buy to open up just for the Celebrations packs, rather it's because you want the commemorative stuff or you really wanna just keep this thing sealed because that's probably going to be the best decision you can make going forward. We know for a fact allocations on this are super short, but the reason I bring it up is because I think it's impressive that GameStop has it listed. I think the fact that GameStop has it listed is evidence to the idea that shortly this will go live. And bear in mind, the release date on this is 10-22-2021, so this is not a day one drop. This, the Pikachu box, and the collector chest will not be dropping on day one. Instead, some other items like the regular ETB, the V Union box, and a bunch of the different, you know, uh, pin collections, as they say, the ones with Charizard, Sylveon, and Zacian, those are the ones that will be dropping on day one. So what's interesting is that I have a feeling these are sort of being used as staging pages where they're basically there, and all GameStop has to do now is click a switch. Interestingly enough, I think you're going to need to be signed in to your Power Up Rewards if you want your hands on this product. So I have a feeling that's going to be their gatekeeping way of making sure that, you know, bots don't immediately crash the site. The only way you're getting in is with your password and your sign in, and you're probably going to have to be a pro member, which is GameStop's customer retention program, in order to have any shot at getting a meaningful amount of this stuff and I have a feeling again just a sparkling speculation that this is probably going to be limited to maybe one maybe maybe two per person um, or per household or per address or per credit card they will find a way to make sure that you are simply unable to purchase many of these because they probably don't even have that many to sell now, another option uh, to keep your eyes on over the next couple of weeks is going to be Target. If you Google Target Celebrations, right over here you see they have the 2021 Trading Card Game Celebrations Elite Trainer Box at Target. If you click on it, the product is not available. Now that tells me one of two things. I know for a fact it was available at some point in the past, but there might be a chance that it returns. And finally but not least, of course couldn't ignore uh, Amazon. So Amazon is a real pain in the neck because everything here is above MSRP and well above MSRP at that. So it's a bit of a pain in the neck, mainly because most of the stuff here is going to be well above the price that most folks are willing or comfortable to pay. 
for example, the $90 ETB that I mentioned. So where does that put us? Oh, by the way, $375 for this. Uh, so literally three times MSRP. So with all that said, where does that put us? Well, here's what I would encourage you to do. Keep an eye out on places like GameStop, Target, Walmart, and make sure you're buying from the actual retailer. That will ensure that if anything becomes available, you are able to purchase it at MSRP. Again, I would never preach buying above MSRP because I personally don't believe in it. The second thing I would do is prepare for the 8th. Maybe check a Target, maybe check a random Walmart. I don't know how you guys spend your Friday evenings, but if you can, I recommend going after restock. And hey, it's worth a shot, right? Best case scenario, you're gonna be able to pick something up. Worst case scenario, you checked and nothing was there. And then finally, but not least, get ready for the oncoming waves. And I think that is a thing you need to be most acutely aware of, is the fact that even though day one might be kind of bad and day one might not have the most widespread availability, keep your eye out for you know, the waves of products that will come. I mentioned in Tuesday's video that it's likely that things like the ETB and the various boxes will be in good supply because Pokemon is very primed and ready to produce that stuff. And, you know, things like the Pikachu V Union box or that Ultra Premium collection, they're a bit much. The truth of the matter is they take an additional period of time to produce because they're so convoluted. However, if you're able to go ahead and get something like the ETB on the store shelves, they will certainly do so because they're still making tons of money on it. And more importantly, it's easy for them to produce. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. I expect those are the types of items that will be printed into Oblivion while things like the Ultra Premium Collection will sort of have more limited print runs. But with all that said, friends, thanks again for checking out another video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you learned anything new about how you should be approaching celebrations in these upcoming, you know, eight or so days, definitely feel free to leave a like on the video, and if you're not already, feel free to subscribe to join the Gengar gang. Other than that, thanks again for checking out another video, best of luck with your celebrations hunting, and we will talk soon. Peace!